Hey everyone, this is Sam from Wargamer Online, and today we're painting a model from Word Forge Games. This is uh, Officer Winiski, Winiski, not sure on how to pronounce his name correctly, but it's um, one of the Law Haulage Company bikers, and it's a really nice model. This is the 32mm model, and I'm just going to show you how to paint the bike and the guy on the back of it. So we've begun with a Chaos Black spray from Games Workshop. We've done two dry brushes at the minute, one with Skaven Blight Dinge and one with Storm Vermin Fur. And this is just to change the black from being quite flat. Once that's done we're going to paint all of the metallic areas and we're going to use Lead Belcher for this and just use a small brush to pick out all of the areas. So I'm doing the exhaust, I'm also painting the pedal with this colour and I'm also going to go on to the the radiator and the engine of the bike itself as well and the rims so pick which parts you want to be silver and just apply this as um, smoothly as you can you might need two coats to get a good finish on it once that's fully dried we're going to go into washing model and we're going to use Norn oil and we're going to go over all of the black and all of the silver and this blends the, gr uh, the dry brushing that we've done with the grey and it also gives you an, a lot of definition on the silver so it's well worth putting this Norn oil coat on it and if you want it to be darker just wait for the first coat to dry and do a second one afterwards. Moving on to the skin now and we're going to start blocking in the rest of the, the base colours. So we're using Bugman's Glow, you can use any sort of skin tone to begin with, this is just the one that I've picked. And because you are going over a black base coat you might need to do two or three thin coats of this colour just to cover the black and also you'll need to use a smaller brush. Even though this is a 32mm model, it is still quite a small area to paint. So I'm just using Rhinox Hide and a little bit of foam from a blister pack here, and I'm just gonna stipple on some of this Rhinox Hide to give it some damage. Well, not necessarily damage, but more weathering. It's a bike, it's probably going through dirt quite a lot. And we're gonna do lead belcher in exactly the same way. And you can get this foam from blister packs, you can get it from cases, just keep it, don't throw it away, it's worth having just for this sort of job. And you get a nice speckled effect, it looks like it's been battered, it's been used. The setting of this game is very wasteland, um, it's a wasteland style, so they're not necessarily going to be cleaning their bikes every single day, so you want to show that on the models. So now we're on to painting the cop on the back of the bike and we're going to use Steel Legion Drab. So this was the colour scheme taken from Chips which is an older TV series and if you look on Google Images and type in Chips Biker or Chips Cop you'll see the sort of colour scheme that we've gone for here. And same as the skin tone, we're going over black, you want to do two or three thin coats just to build it up and try not to get it onto any of the bike areas now because we've done the washers, we don't really need to go back to that. I'm going to paint the badge on his shoulder with Cantor Blue and there's one on each side on this model. And then once that's done we're going to move on to the gold and we're using Retributor Armour from Games Workshop for this. It's a really nice gold that goes over black extremely nicely so you only need a couple of coats of this. And this is just to lay the foundation. We're going to use a brighter gold next. But this just covers so well, I, th I thought I may as well use this to start with. And you could use brasses or bronzers or any sort of shade of metallic. This is the one that I've picked and it looks quite nice. It stands out from the bike and the, the rider's clothing. So once that's dry, we're just going to use Liberator Gold which is another one of the newer metallic paints from Games Workshop and we're going to go over all of that gold area again. Just leave a, a bit of the, go the darker gold in the recess and we're going to paint the front of the bike with this as well. And this looks like it's got a bit of silver mixed into it. So if you don't have this colour just mix a bit of silver into whichever gold you used as a base coat and you'll get a similar effect. Moving on to the wash now for the rest of the model, we're using Agrax Earthshade. And with this you can cover everything, we can go over the skin, you can go over all of the clothing, the um, badge on his shoulders as well as the helmet, and you can also go over the bike again. So like I was saying before, because the vehicles aren't 
kept in pristine condition. You can get away with putting things like brown washers and uh, even flesh tone washers all over the bikes just to give it a little bit of a different tone. And it works especially well on the silvers, you can see on the exhaust, just having that tint of brown as well as having the dark black on there, it gives it a lot more colour. It goes over really nicely on this gold. And let that fully dry before we go into highlighting. So now we're going to use the same colour we used for the base coat, we're using Steel Legion Drab again. And with this you just want to go over all of the clothing, but where the wash has dried, you want to keep some of the paint in the recesses just to give it some, uh, well, so you can see the creases more than anything. And around the badge you can see I've left a very thin line just so you've got a bit of a shadow from there as well. And you could use a much smaller brush than I did, I think I was using a standard brush so it's quite a, a large one for the, the stage of the model that I'm doing so feel free to use a much smaller brush and you can get thinner lines. Okay, we're just building this colour up over the back as well. Now the next step is highlighting this. We're going to use Bane Blade Brown. And this is pretty much the next colour up from Steel Legion Drab. And we're going to do pretty much the same thing, but we're going to leave more of the, Bane, uh, the Steel Legion Drab in the recesses. So the same standard with all highlighting really, you just want to leave a little bit of the previous colour showing and we're just layering this up and making it brighter each time. So you can see I'm just putting some more lines in there, it adds some texture to the clothing and you go around and do the whole model. And then we move on to the next colour which is the last one and that is Carrack Stone. And this one you really want to focus where the, the light would hit it most. So with the sleeves of his arms we're going to focus on the top parts of it and for his back of the t-shirt, well shirt, we're going to go over pretty much all of it. But you can see I'm painting it in very thin lines, building it up gradually. And back to the sleeves and just painting very thin lines on there. And you can see how that gives it definition. Okay, now we're going to put some colour onto the badges. We're going to use Outdoor Guard Blue for this. It's such a small bit of detail that we don't need to do too much to it. This is just to give it another layer. And then you've got the actual star which are on his badges and we're using Avalon Sunset for this. You could use a gold or a silver and it's just personal preference. I thought there was there wasn't enough colours on there so I've used yellow just as another spot colour to stand out. We're going to highlight this with Uriel Yellow and it doesn't need much, it's such a tiny little star that you just need to go around the edges on this. So for the face we're going to use Cadian Flesh Tone, we're going to paint the nose, the cheeks, the top of his lips, pretty much everything but just leave a little bit of Bugman's Glow around his You've got like the cheek lines and also his mouth. I'm just going to leave Bugman's in those areas and paint the rest. And then for the final highlight on the skin, we're going to use Kisler Flesh. And this is more of a, a dot on his nose, a little bit on the top of his cheek, and just around his chin. Okay, so we're going to go on to the lights now. We're going to use Mephiston Red for this. And these are painted in a similar way to the way that you would do gemstones. So we're going to do a base colour and then we're going to paint like a crescent around the oval shape of the light. We're just going to paint the tail lights the same colour with this. So we're going to go into Evil Sun Scarlet once that is done and I'm just going to paint around the bottom part of the oval shape. So around the left hand side and then around the bottom and you leave the Mephiston on the main part of the light. And the same for the tail lights, we're going to paint the bottom of the light and then just bring it round if you need to, just a little bit on the left hand side of each light. And there's a lot of metallic coloured paint you can use for this instead of using this if you'd prefer a quicker method. The bit that stands out here is using Wild Rider Red, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to paint a very thin line which is outlining the bottom of each light. 
and you can see just from doing that it does make it pop. We are going to add a little bit more to it. So we're just going to do a thin line on the tail lights and then what I lo like to do on this is add blood letter. So it's a glaze from Games Workshop and it brightens up the colour of any sort of reds or oranges. So just apply this over the top of the light and you can see it blends those highlights that we've just done but it also makes it look a lot brighter. And then we'll finish that off later. We're going to add a gloss varnish to the lights. Okay, for the other light, we're going to use Avalon Sunset for this. And this is the same colours as we've done for the stars on the badges. So you can do this at the same step. I just forgot and went back to it to add another colour. We're just going to put a little bit of Uriel Yellow on there, which is exactly the same as we did with the badge. And then we're going to finish that off with a glaze of Lamentis Yellow, similar to what we did with the red ones, using the blood letter red. And we're going to put this yellow glaze over there and that will just tie the two colours together and enhance the yellow. And then the final step is just using Ard Coat Gloss Varnish and just applying this to all of the lights on the model. And that gives it a nice sheen when you look at it. But that's it, it's a really straightforward model to paint, they're really nice, stick them on some bases, some wasteland bases and you've got yourself a nice model. So I hope this helps, it's something different from the standard Games Workshop models that we do and I'd love to see what sort of models you've done. We've got our Facebook page which is Wargamer Online Space Community so you can join there and post up pictures of your own Devils Run models and if you like this video please like down below and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope to see you all in the future.